first row because it's kind of got beat up having the guys pound tires for me and then I filled it with spray foam great stuff and it's water resistant too so here's your moisture barrier at the back of the hill I've put in a one and one quarter inch electrical pipe it's for above and underground and um, we could either put the conduits for a car charger through it but this 114 also would allow 100 amp service which we do have here ideally I put this thing completely off grid but I want to have the option for ourselves or the next owner to have uh, a grid service we do have an electrical car and I will try to make a system that uh, can charge that thing off grid but uh, that's uh, not an easy task model the water tanks are on the side and there's not too much space to maneuver so what I have to do is put a tank in and I kind of put dirt next to the tank using the tractor and then shovel it in by hand to increase the dirt level behind the tires and the tanks empty right now so I made a dirt pile here to put everything to keep everything in place and once I've done that, I can put in the second tank next to it and then do the same here. extension uh, for a 2 inch PVC and you, you kind of 
turn that in and I use some pipe dope around so it won't leak. And uh, one of the things people don't realize apparently is that you want a hole saw that's only slightly larger than the actual bulkhead fitting. And in this case for a two inch bulkhead fitting you want a three inch hole saw and uh, that would make it fit perfectly. So I did have a leak and that was really annoying because I had to empty the tanks, 2,000 gallons. So it's kind of hard to do this plumbing with three feet of distance between the tanks, which is the minimum required. And um, at first I had the pipes go out straight, which made it really difficult to put the last piece in the socket and uh, that uh, is not helped by the fact that this flex PVC comes in rolls and so it's already bent. You can bend it back but it's hard and I think that puts, you, puts some stress on the on the fittings once you glue them in. So I used an excess amount of pipe dope on both sides uh, of the thread, the PVC thread into the bulkhead and for most connections I wait at least an hour for them to harden before I start moving the tu tubes around but uh, doing it this way with the L and have them come out uh, under a bend it does two things, so when the tanks move a little bit once they settle, which, which they do you have more flex in the tubes and it's also more easy to um, to plumb them in so uh, another little detail is this metal uh, connector for the PEX and that's what I learned uh, during a lot of research trying to fix my leaks. You don't want to have a um, metal male going into a plastic female. Uh, plastic, especially PVC, is uh, brittle and um, you brittle materials can deal better with compressive stress than uh, tensile stress and so you want a metal female and a PVC male. So, hour of truth, filling the tank of, with water, and uh, so far I have no leaks. The pressure in the tubes will go up a little bit, now I have about a foot of water, it will go to about four. Um, you see that I pipe wrapped, this is an extra precaution, just to minimize any leak that might be there, but I don't think there is one. And. Uh, the uh, instructions say you have to put this on a bed of sand, but the guy that delivers the tanks, he told me that my soil is good enough. Um, 
You said it was perfect, even. And the, the tank should sink in a little, I suppose, but he said it doesn't go completely, so I suppose it's fine. There's so many details. These things are super expensive, like $3,500 each, so I want that to be right. <laughs> 